Right, hello everybody. Today I thought I'd do a bit of a different video. I'm going to go through all those camera equipment and as new tripod. Now we've had time to play around with it. Uh, tell you the good, the bad, the ugly about that and the cameras, the camera setups uh, in a quick little video just so everyone knows exactly what we've got and uh, you might be able to answer a few questions we've got about the tripod. So I'm going to start with the bag. This is the bag which we got free with the tripod. Uh, I'm going to get all my camera equipment now and put it all in here. And then it's all in one place. Don't you think that'll be cool, Mazzy? <laughs> That's going to be a nightmare. Instead of having that there, that there, that there. Yeah. It'll all be in here. Yay! So I'm going to get it all out. Let's fill this up. Right, so I've just thrown everything on the bed to start with. Obviously we've got as main camera in Mazzy's hand, which she's filming on. Um, so this is the bag we got this with. I didn't actually say which tripod we've got. It's a Vanguard VEO2 Go tripod series. There it is. And ours is model number VEO2 Go 235CB kit. Okay, I'll, t I'll put a link in the description. I hope I remember to do that. Um, and with it saying kit, you get the bag with it. Right, so I'm going to fill the bag with a lot of these bits, all those camera things. Now in the top here, you've got a compartment there, compartment there, compartment there. So you one, two, three, four little areas to put things, which would usually be lenses and cameras. And they are all Velcro, so you can move them along, have them wherever you want in there. So I'm going to start, ooh, how, where am I going to start, Mazzy? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if that'll go in as it is. Let me just play around with this for a second. So the first thing I noticed, I thought it was a bit of a design flaw, I was just saying to Mazzy, the top zipper there, to get into them compartments, that should really go to the edge so you can get right into the corners. But then we realised, stupidly, so that's like a quick way to get in. There is a zip round here as well so that the lid comes properly off so you can get right into it. So that's what we're talking with, that's what we're playing with. So, I'm going to get the main camera it. Right, this is my old main camera. This is a Canon 70D. This was his best camera. The stabilisation on it was good. We've upgraded to a, to a 80D, which the stabilisation is rubbish. It's still the same camera, pretty much. Um, probably better for certain things, but not for stabilisation, which is a shame. But they don't make this model anymore. So, what we're going to have to do is put this in. Because the thing is, this is still useful. Now the reason we've got a new one is the microphone jack. That's broken. So the external microphone goes in and it's crackly or it doesn't work properly. goes on and off. So we can't use this for vlogging. But it's still a perfectly good camera. So we can use it. The only thing we need for missing for this really is a SIM card. We need an extra SIM card. And do they call it a hot shoe? One of these. We've got two. There's one on the camera Maz is using and there's one on Maz's new camera. Uh, but we need one on the here as well. So we'll have to get a hot shoe, a SIM card, and then we can still use this for filming shots, you know, scenery and leave it out for time lapses and things. So it's still a perfectly good camera. So I'm just going to put this in somewhere. So I'm just going to put the cover back on there without a lens and put that in the bottom of the bag. Considering the amount of years you've had this, this is in brilliant condition, isn't it? It is. Well, I bought... it's on that camera so we can't really show it, but... Yeah. got a rubber cover which goes all over the camera. And it's, Highly recommend. Oh yeah. This looks like new. It's... what did I have this for? Three... three years, continuous use, every day. You no, know, you had it longer. You had it about two Just years over three years. Me. Just over three years I had yeah? it. Yeah? Oh, okay. Uh, so we're going to put that in... Where shall we have that? Let's switch camera so we can show this rubber cover. Yeah, okay. So this is the cover. You can't even tell it's on. It doesn't look like a cover. It's not doesn't stop the water getting in, but it's it makes it very grip worthy, if you know what I mean. It's got a little grip there. It's very easy to grip, really protects it from sand and things like that. So we do like that. Some people may be wondering why on earth we got a sponge up the top there. Well that's another bad design. 
Yeah. Um, the change to this, this used to have, again it's on the other camera, but uh, it's got like little rubber bands which hold this and it just dangles, but they changed it to this and this clatters against it and you can hear it in the wind, in strong winds when you're moving around it clatters on it and it spoils the sound so I've had to put some sponge there just to try and stop that which looks a bit silly but it does the job I'm a wally sometimes, ok so I've got the camera in I was thinking, well if it goes that way it's going to take up half of the bag it doesn't really fit that way, I never thought to put it that way so that's that camera in, I've adjusted this to get it right to the end then I'll put in the lens because we will be using that a lot because we can get the ultra the uh, circular PL lens on and I've got another lens another few lenses so I'll put that in the middle where it's easily accessible move up the velcro it's starting to look like a proper camera bag already Mazzy so this is Mazzy's camera she had before we met the family camera um, it's a very good camera, very good zoom, 30 times zoom. It's a Sony Cybershot uh, HX60V. It's a good camera, but personally I don't like these shutter openings. If you get any sand in there, it breaks. I've had a similar one, it broke within a week. I got sand in, I couldn't fix it. Um, I never felt you can't flip the screen on it, so it's really difficult for like vlogging. Yeah, except can't flip the screen. No. Can't put an external microphone on. There's a lot of downsides for what you know. But it, I've it's had handy. it. I've had it for about six years, and um, it's hardly been used, mm. so it's it's good for it's, the age. It's certainly got its uses. Yeah. So we'll put that down there. We've also got this, um, just a 4K camera from a company called YI. Ye. That's very good because that has a, a, a really wide sort of shot doesn't it? If you yes. know what I'm trying to say. It's a bit like a GoPro, it's a very wide shot um, and it is handy for the windscreen for filming. Yeah. The sound on it isn't good, it's got like a high pitch noise in the background which spoils it. So we don't use it, we haven't got a lead for it anymore. Um, that's why we're not using it, otherwise we probably would. They're not hard to it's, get hold of them. No, no, it's not hard. Mm. But we need one of them leads to be able to use that again. And again, we need another um, SD card. Because I've been taking SD cards out of things for the drone, you see, and for Mazzy's new camera. So things are without SD cards. What I really wanted to get, I saw them at Aldi or Netto on a Father's Day offer. £30 it was, €30. Euros. Um, it's like a GoPro copy with the shell to make it waterproof and we really wanted something like that for doing underwater shots Yeah. Um, but we didn't have an Aldi near us and it was during lockdown so I couldn't get one so yeah that can go in the bag so we've already got three cameras in there we'll be carrying one camera each that's five cameras sorted right delighted just found something another hot shoe or whatever they call them um, just found this in the bottom of the bag so that can go on the bottom of the big camera ready to just slot on here so all our three main cameras will now have a hot shoe and we can use them on this new tripod brilliant so I'll do that in a minute so we've still got a compartment left in here for odds and ends so what I'm going to put in is a camera strap you never know, we might use one I'm going to put in these which you put over the end of your lens to be able to fit different filters and things in so we'll have them in there we will have the circular polarized lens which is the one which stops the reflection in the water we've got this which I can now use now we've got a tripod which is a Tiffin variable ND 72 millimeter that comes in handy if you you know when you're seeing a waterfall and the water's coming down you can do exposure over about eight seconds or something and it will just have it a smooth flow instead, you know what I mean? Have you ever seen them shots? Yeah. So I've never managed to do one of them shots and I've always wanted to, so we'll try that. That can go in there. And we've also got some macro lenses which I won't put in there. So batteries, I think they can go in there. You need batteries. They? <laughs> They're quite old. Mm -hmm. uh, microphone. You never know, a little plug-in microphone. And I think, Mazzy, that will probably do us. But what about light? 
You never light. know, you never know. Well, they can't go in that bit, Mazzy. Oh. oh. <laughs> I want them in a different bit. In fact, I'll put, I'll put the headlight, you know, the spotlight thing. I'll put that in there. Right, that's full now. Brilliant. Everything we need in there. So we've also got a side pocket. Uh, it's got two little things. I think it's trying to say there you could put a laptop, uh, what do you call them, a tablet in there. Mm -hmm. That would work. I'm going to put a light in there. So this screws onto the front of the camera. And if you're doing night shooting, that is amazing. Brightest thing ever. That can go in the side there. An extra lens cap. Never know. Right. I'm happy with that, Mazzy. Let's zip that up. And that's ready to go. Got one camera bag. And another beautiful little feature of it, inside here, you actually get a rain cover for the bag. You know, you've got expensive gear in there. I've not tried putting this on before, so we'll see how it goes. Something like that. Sorted. Because we're probably not going to be carrying this around with us, because we're in the van, we, we drive to where we want to film. You never know, we might need to, but I'm, I'm going to use this. This is where the tripod actually lives. I'm going to be using this just for storage. We've got an extra little, uh, what do you call it? A tripod. You know, that'll do for the phone, walking around with the phone. That's good, yeah. So we've got that option in there. Uh, a few bits. Yeah, anything which might come in. Never know, never know, Mazzy. <laughs> so we've filled that up. That's all those camera equipment, all in one place. Right, let's get on to the tripod. Right, let's talk about the tripod, Mazzy. Yay! It's a brand new tripod. This has changed our lives, it really has. Just to say, by the way, this is a Canon 80D, the main camera. The new one with the amazing zoom is a Canon uh, SX. 60 HSX, SX60HS, Canon SS, I'm trying to read it, <laughs> Canon SX60HS, brilliant, absolutely brilliant, uh, so that's his main cameras, so we've got, sent this tripod, big thank you again to Tony and everyone at Vanguard for sending us this, um, I'll tell you all the things I've learnt about it and all the things I'm not sure about and things we don't like about it, you know, we're honest, we're honest, so first thing, Let's just talk about how the things go up. It's one of these where you screw, push, tighten, right? There is another kind, which I have on my cheap one, which is like a clip. So it, you'll just unclip it, push it up, clip it. A lot quicker to use the other kind, but these, I believe, are a lot better for keeping it sturdy. So that's why this has got that on. That could be quite awkward when you're in a bit of a hurry. When you're in a hurry, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But for stability, that's, this is the kind you want really, these screw ones. So that's how they work. So one thing I like to do to make sure, especially if there's a bit of wind, is try and open the legs as much as possible to get more stability. So to do that you've got little notches here. So you just lift that up and push it up to the next notch and make sure they're all on the same notch. There's three different... So you've got that, Perfect. that, and that. So if you imagine, if you have them all opened right up like that, so if you can imagine having them all set like that, that is as sturdy as it's going to get. I like it like that. Perfect for if you're taking shots of the sea and things like that. So let's get that back up. Another way to keep it sturdy, if it's windy, for example, there's a little hook here, so you can hang a bag off there, your camera bag maybe, anything. Just hang something heavy off there, make it even sturdier. One thing I try to avoid is lifting this up. You know, a lot of people would say, well, you want the height where you can see through the finger. I'm happy to bend down, because I know it's sturdier like that. But, you, you know, you can lift it up one there. You can lift it up one there. That's as high as it will go. But I wouldn't film like that unless I had to. You know, if you're trying to look over a hedge or something. <laughs> you sound weird. I sound like what? 
A weirdo. A weirdo? Looking over oh, looking over ahead. <laughs> yeah, but we have. We've stopped in places already yeah. and there's been grass in the way. Yeah. So if you want, if you need the height, that's as high as it will go. But that's where it becomes unstable, you see. Yeah. Which is normal. You're always going to get that with a centrepiece. So I try not to use that. A slight bit of wind that you... Yeah. 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 <laughs> so you've got that option as well. One thing I've been trying to teach Mazzy to do, <laughs> I've now got it on its legs, yeah? It's set up. Leave it. <laughs> if you want to move the camera now, there's a release button, a release thing there. Just release that and it's on a ball joint. So you can move and see whatever you want, wherever you want. You do not need to move the legs again. What Mazzy tends to do <laughs> is she'll see some sugar like that. She'll have it on two legs. <laughs> I've seen her have it on one leg like that. There's no point. <laughs> you will learn. You will learn. It's getting used to it. Another good thing I like about it, which I haven't really mastered yet, but you can have this. Let's say you've got an horizon over there. You set that so that that isn't moving anywhere. You can release this then, so that cannot move up and down, it can only move sideways. Oh. So release that, and if you've got a steady hand, you can just move your camera like that. Oh, I never knew that one. Yeah, knowing you'll get a smooth sweep. So oh. I do like that feature. This is a question for everybody. Um, maybe someone can answer this. What are these here? You've got these numbers on here. These numbers, you've got zero there. If you come around here, look, you've got 90. So this is degrees. It's a 360 degree like counter around there. All I can guess is you set it up at like zero degrees. And then if you want to carry on a picture, go around to 90 degrees. And then it should, you know, you could get like a, pole, what do they call it, a panorama. Panoramic. A 360 pan panoramic. Panorama. Panorama. Panoramic. <laughs> I could see it working for that. Is that what it's for? Someone tell me. Not sure. Another beauty about this is it's carbon. So it's very, very light. I think that weighs 1.1 kilogram, which is about the same as the camera. Can We're... I add, I think it's quite heavy. Do you really? Yeah, now it might be lighter than other tripods, but for me, I, I was actually surprised at how heavy it is. But you find it heavy with the camera on. You don't yeah. find it heavy as a tripod. No, no. no. But you find anything heavy. <laughs> it's just the cameras are quite heavy. OK. So, no, I don't think that's... I think that's just you. <laughs> um, so, yeah, carbon, carbon's fantastic for travelling. You know, if you're walking anywhere and you want to take a tripod with you, brilliant. If you're just a professional and you want to set up, go for the aluminium or whatever they're made out of. But I love that. We have found one thing we don't like about it. But this isn't the tripod's fault. This is Mazzy's camera's fault. This here, see this button here? This is how to release the shoe. Now, I've purposefully not done that very tight so I can get it out. Release that, take your camera out, put another camera in now if we wanted to. It's also got a spirit level there, by the way. So that isn't straight at the moment, so you can actually make sure it's straight before you're filming, which is pretty good. Um, but we have a problem with this, because Mazzy's camera, which is filming on, so you can't really tell, but the battery compartment is on the bottom. Uh, to get the battery out, when you put it on there, you can't open the compartment. So every time we need to change Mazzy's battery, we need to undo that. The problem is, you have to have that very tight to make sure the camera isn't going to fall off when you're using it. That's not the only thing, though. We then have to take the shoe off the bottom of our new camera, don't we? Yes. Well, that's the camera's fault. Yeah, nothing to do with the tripod. No. <laughs> the camera has... It's not very good for us with that camera because we have to fiddle around just to get a battery changed. So what you can't do is have that a little bit tight because if that comes out, you could be bending over, looking over a river or something, and it could fall off. So you've got to have that very tight. And then, when your battery goes, and you need to untighten it quick, sometimes we can't get that off. It's quite close to the camera as well. And it's not giving you much finger. Yeah, you don't have much finger grip. I've actually had to have a spanner to untighten it twice 
Um, so yeah, that's our only niggle. So, that's just showing you as basics with those cameras, as new tripod. Uh, we've also got the drone as well, which I haven't gone into. So we're covered for everything. We just really need an underwater camera and an onboard one for in the van for, you know, filming when we're driving. And then we've got everything we can possibly need, so buzzing. So that's how we use it. <laughs> like that. That's when it's fully folded down. We're laughing because this is take seven. Um, yeah, we love it. If anyone's interested, there'll be a link in the description to for the Vanguard uh, tripod. And we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, live. Are we live? We're live tomorrow. We will see you live at 4pm tomorrow, Sunday. Um, join us then. Hope you enjoyed that. See you soon. Bye bye. Say goodbye, Mazzy. Bye. See bye you bye. soon. Thanks for watching! Please comment and hit the like button, that helps our channel grow. If you like what you see, click here to subscribe. Check out this other great video. And if you really want to show your support, join the club, become a Patreon for extra videos and perks. The more support we get, the more content we can give. We'll see you tomorrow on Travel, Travel Trolls, Trolls TV. TV.